Demographic data predicts will be a multicultural majority nation by 2042. America by the Numbers, a new PBS documentary, looks at how the cultural shift will affect elections. And it's a question being asked here in City Heights. Joining me to talk about this issue are Norma Sandoval, an educator and volunteer for the San Diego Organizing Project, and PBS correspondent and America by the Numbers host, Maria Hinojosa. Thank you both for joining me. Maria, your documentary revealed there's a big political interest in a lot of immigrant communities. Why do you think that is? Well, I think that many immigrant communities understand that the, you know, this is the, the, the largest, the world's largest democracy, right? And so part of the democracy is being able to vote. I think that there's a lot of dreams that come when you make the decision to come to this country, or in the case of Clarkston, Georgia, where Amer America by the Numbers is based, um, these were refugees that were relocated. Sometimes these people have never even had a homeland. They have now not even been a citizen of any one place because their homelands are, you know, very divisive, et cetera. So for them to vote, it's a historic moment. And they inculcate this with their young people. And frankly, given the demographics in our country, that's what we want to start seeing over and over again in these immigrant communities and Latino communities people owning the power to vote. It seemed in the documentary that there was some ownership. I, I'm an American now and they sort of own, they belong to this country. Norma, you grew up in City Heights. Yes. Uh, do you think that's the same there right now? What is sort of the political uh, environment, we might say, going on right now? Well, City Heights, um, the majority of the residents are below the age of 18. So you have this growing generation that is um, sometimes not always informed about what to do and so the power structure right now is mostly given by the white older generation um, as an educator I partake in making sure that my students are informed so that they can be participants in making a change in their community let's talk about Maria your documentary and the enormous shift that happened if you can briefly tell us what happened in Georgia and do you see that playing out in places like City Heights well, so I, I like to talk about Clarkston, Georgia, like the future of America on steroids. This was a community that, you know, was essentially over 90 percent white and American born, you know, 30 years ago. And in the past, in, in this couple of decades has been transformed from being majority white to being now a majority not white. And what, what does that mean for this particular community? It's happening everywhere. It's happening here in San Diego. It's happening in Tennessee. It's happening in Alabama. It's happening everywhere. Um, and so what we like to talk about in the documentary is that the numbers are clear, but how do real people deal with this change? And so we address the issue of fear of this change and essentially try to give voice to this so that we as a society can move forward. What do you, I'm going to ask both of you this, and I'll start with you, Marie. What do you think here in San Diego, in communities like City Heights, a uh, high immigrant population, we can learn from uh, what's happening in Georgia? Well, I think that, that what we can learn is, is that if you are engaged if you own your voice, which is the essence of democracy, you, ha you in fact do have power. We want people to own their power, to own the, this notion that they can change, right? What we don't want is for people um, who feel like they're not the majority, for example, for them to feel like, well, I have no role, I can do nothing, nothing can change, and I'm, I'm disenfranchised and ignored. If in City Heights, who isn't voting? It's it people who feel this way, or is it just young people, or what's what's stopping people from voting? Well, in? I think that like in District D, which is um, part of City Heights, um, you have 53% registered voters, and only 19% of those, I'm sorry, 19,000 of those are minority voters. So I think it's the fear of not understanding, sometimes maybe the language, not knowing where to turn to that is keeping people from actually engaging. I know people that, well, I voted last time and, you know, nothing was done from it. So I don't know if I want to continue voting when my voice is not being heard. How do, how do you inspire them? I take my children with me and I say, you need to do it for them. You need to do it for yourself. You need to do it for the children around you because they, we are the, their voice and we need to do it as a responsibility for our future generation. All right. Thank you both for talking to us. We are out of time. However, you can uh, join in on this conversation tomorrow night at 7 p.m. at the KPBS screening of PBS Need to Know Election Special, America by the Numbers. You can get all the details on our website at kpbs.org.